Hi everybody. Today we are going to see how to create a filigree for an uneven gallery using Grasshopper. To start, I'm going to be hiding this particular surface, going into render uh, shaded mode. And going to be first creating the surface on which I need the gallery. To do that, I could use loft, but I personally prefer network or sweep. To do that, I'm going to go on to my construction curves, take a curve for the cross section here and the cross section at the bottom. Surface sweep to poly surface edge one, poly surface edge two for the two rails and the two cross sections. Yes, I've got a good surface here now, which is perpendicular to the surface is going beside it. I'm going to say OK. Now I can start Grasshopper. In Grasshopper, I can have, I need to create three parameters to add on to it. The first one is going to be this surface which I've just created. I will also need the curve which I have created and I'm going to need a reference geometry for the curve to morph it. I'm going to right click on surface, say set one surface and click on this new surface which I've just created. I'm going to right click on the curve, say set one surface and choose that. For the reference geometry, I need a bounding box to this curve. Hence, I'm going to say analyze bounding box. The current bounding box is going to be just a rectangle because my geometry was just a curve. So I'm going to say surface, extrude curve straight. I don't need both sides, but I do need a solid. And odd extrusion of one would do, yes. I've hidden that particular curve. I'm going to change this view to geometry so I can see it. I'm going to change this curves into curves and this is my reference surface so I'm going to put it out here and right click on geometry to say set one geometry and here I have my geometry too. I'm done with the surface in Rhino so I'm going to hide it. The next step is to divide the surface using a domain. So I'm using divide domain in which I'm giving this surface the input i for the base domain. For u and b, I'm going to go into params, number slider, edit the number slider to make it a real number with an integer, sorry, with the domain of 1 to maybe 30 and add it on to u count. I will also need a v count, so I'm just duplicating this particular number slider and placing it here. I'm joining it. The next step is to modify or rather transform morph surface box, the surface, to create multiple small surfaces. I'm going to use this created domain and I need to give it a height, which by default currently is 1. Still giving it 1. If I increase the V count, you can see that it is increasing only in this direction. That's not what I want. So I go back to V and I increase my U count. Yes, this is what I wanted. Let me keep it at 14 for the moment. It's just a gut feel. This surface box needs to be morphed further using box morph, for which the curve is going to be my geometry. This bounding box is going to be my reference geometry, and the created surface boxes are going to be my targets. Well, here I see them. You'll observe that as the distance, as the surface changes, so does my curve change in its shape. But maybe I don't want it in this fashion I wanted it horizontal so I can just go to my top view 
and change my curve by 90 degrees and you'll find that it changes here too. I haven't used curve uh, surface of a pipe in Rhino. I'm going to use it directly in Grasshopper so that there is no deviation of that in uh, when I make it in Grasshopper. It is currently too thick because the default radius is 1. So I'm going to take again another numbers number slider and I'm going to give it a radius of 0 0.35 so that I get a diameter of 0 0.7. I'm going to right click on E and make it a round cap. If you observe, This looks good. However, I don't like the n amount of intersection between the two S. So, all I need to do, let me just minimize grasshopper a little, maximize my perspective and top views to have a better look. And all I need to do over here is slightly modify this. See, it takes care of the intersection and it looks good to me. So, yes. However, my height is yet a little too much, so I'm going to go into my front view in Rhino and bring this down slightly, maybe by minus 0.05. Oh yes, uh, another minus 0 0.05 should do the job. Oh, sorry. Minus 0 0.05. Yes. Looks good to me. The number of designs that I want are currently 14, which I can modify. But... 17 seems too much, 14, uh, 14 looks good, 15 looks good, yes, I'm satisfied with this, after right click on this, say bake, I'm going to give it my layer of gallery, I'm going to say group it please, thank you, the, the grasshopper work is over, I'm just going to close it temporarily, say rendered image, hide these objects. No, I'm not happy with the height that I have achieved, so I'm going to delete it, go back into Grasshopper, modify it further, by point three maybe and bake it to confirm whether it is perfect. Yes, it is fitting well inside the design. So even after filing polishing it will not be cleaned up and degenerated further. Thank you.